So guys, today arrives a new hotfix, uh, going live on all platforms by 12pm PST. This hotfix addresses concerns reported by the community and makes buffs to various legendaries. How's it going guys, my name is DPG and today I bring another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. Okay, so getting straight into it and going over what they say. Vault Hunters. This week we took a look at some character skills that were occasionally not properly reporting what was happening in game. For these instances, we have updated the description text to show the actual in game values and removed an instance of a penalty that was not reported on its skill description. Address reported instances of the gunner's skill description sometimes showing inaccurate values. Hell on Rails. Skill description was occasionally showing plus 30% fuel drain instead of the actual plus 8%. Corrosive Saber Round Kill description was occasionally showing minus 50% railgun damage and fuel drain instead of the actual minus 33%. Addressed a reported concern that the gunner's active tracking skill was receiving a 50% penalty to damage per missile and ammo capacity that was not listed in the skill description. We've removed this penalty. Fixed a typo with the Beastmaster's fused attack skill in English. Addressed a point of concern that blood cooled Jackbot's beam attacks were bypassing the operative barrier. Okay, so that's cool. Now we're going to move on to weapons, and there's quite a few changes to people, quite a few significant buffs. Okay, so the Crater's EMP5 increased critical damage by 80% while airborne. Wow, the Fraser. Increased amount of shotgun projectiles from 6 to 8. Increased the reload time of the underbarrel shotgun. Rate at which the underbarrel shotgun refills ammo. Increased weapon damage on both firing modes. The firestorm. Increased weapon damage. The hell shock. Increased the number of projectiles per shot to 2. Increased weapon damage also. The Kraker Tower. Increased weapon damage. 9 volt. Increased weapon damage. Sickle. Increased fire rate. Increased weapon damage. Smart gun. Increased weapon damage. And the damage on the thrown projectile. Storm. Increased weapon damage. And thunderball fist. Increased damage on the initial shot of the thunderball. So quite a few changes to some of our legendaries in game, I'm not gonna lie. Some of these I'm actually looking forward to testing as well. If I find anything significant people, I'll upload videos on so actually my test a majority of these and bring you guys my thoughts on them. I mean these are a few weapons I have been using or have used in the past, so I know exactly how they did perform pre-patch. So we will see people. But yes, let me know your thoughts on this down below within that comment section. So any other legendary weapon you feel needs a buff? let me know but yeah guys just a quick news video surrounding borderland 3 and the latest hotfix if you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one